So, uh, name, age, job title, where I work. I'm Armin, I'm 34 years old, and I work for uh, Stossa Family Farms uh, here in Belmere, Queensland. Every year we produce about 200 tonnes of strawberries. My main role in this farm is actually irrigation and looking after all these plants, making sure they produce the best strawberries we can produce. So starting off every day is to go out and actually look at every all the plants across the farm, not each one individually, I don't have enough time for that. But to make sure everything is, well, growing to a certain standard, we wanna make sure that every plant's not stressed out, not you know, underwater, overwatered, it's getting fed correctly. We just wanna produce some great strawberries. That's, a, that's our main role. So you're taking your time to look at the plants and sort of asking questions, what these plants are doing, how they're going, how they're gonna react over the next few weeks, what have they done, but also how can we grow them better? How can we make them better? How can we produce a better fruit? We wanted to be better, we wanted to be the best. We wanted to you know, improve on what is happening out there and sort of lead the way in technology and innovation and production in, in, within this area, within this um, strawberry growing region of Southeast Queensland. You know, we looked at the production values of growing on tables compared to grounds and we see there's better production, there's less disease, so there's better pest management. Uh, you get better quality, you can control the quality a lot better. And this is probably some of the directions we wanted to go. We can grow more in less areas, so we can bring more fruit to everybody. And that's probably the one way we wanted to, one direction we wanted to go down. You can't be the best without continuous improvement. It's not as hard as you think it would be. Like, there's plenty of opportunities, there's plenty of fruit and vegetables out there that needs to be grown. I think people need to sort of look away from that stigma that it's just hard, backbreaking work. Like, we have the technology now, we are continuously, continuously trying to improve to make it easier for everybody to work. We're trying to get better so we can, you know, attract the next lot of people to come in. I think I transitioned into horticulture because it gave me the opportunity not just to not sit behind a desk. I, got to, I get to be outside, I get to look at something, I get to grow something which is an achievement in itself, being able to see the results of the hard work that you put in. You know, come out the back in the season and say, look, I contribute to this performance of this farm. Lifestyle-wise, you know, just like any other person, I'm happy I get home, I get to do all the things I enjoy to do. And if you, if you work well and work hard, there's no reason why you can't. For any young people who would like to come out and start a career in horticulture, there's sort of two pathways you can probably take. One is actually getting out and applying for a job and learning as you go, and then eventually going on to do further studies. Like if you, you know, if there's something that you really want to do, you know, there's plenty of opportunities and pathway through TAFE and through university to develop your skill set to get these jobs but you know there's no harm in starting directly on a farm especially if you're young doing a bit of work to understand the work that's necessary to run a farm what needs to be done to how to produce fruit and there's a wealth of knowledge there through all the people who've worked there previously so there's two very different paths you can take with both, with both the same opportunities job opportunities range from you know your basic picking and packing where most people will start from. You know, getting the experience to know what you're looking for, like the quality, looking after plant, planting and growing, to then, if you like, like, you know, running warehouses and stock taking inventory, learning that side of the business, how that runs, to becoming, you know, an expert in how to irrigate and grow plants. There's just multiple different pathways you can take and what you'd like to achieve. But seeing how, you know, a strawberry farm progressed from a little tiny, strawberry plant at the start of the season to you know to producing some fantastic berries to hearing the response from people who've consumed our fruit saying is absolutely fantastic and that's what we probably aim to strive for so you know keep people at your home at someone else's home from Victoria up to northern Queensland happy like that's what we do it for you know make people happy <laughs>